everybody, what's up? It's mail time. I thought it would be a more modest mail time this month, and then we went to the post office, and there was more stuff. They were like, you're going to want to come back with a car, because there was this object, but, um, yeah, I legit don't know where to start, and I actually need space to work, so, uh, over there. All right, I'm going to start with this thing that says, do not crush. Um, pro tip, if you do not want your thing crushed, put it in a box, not, not in a, in a, um, bubble mailer. It is two hats, or one very strange hat, but there's a note. Dear Loading Ready Run crew, hello, I've been a big fan of your work from when Graham and Paul debuted on The Escapist with Unskippable, and from then onward I slowly found out about all your, all your other projects and stuff, and enjoy a great many of them as well. Even sort of got to meet you guys when you came to Calgary Expo one year, but I was too shy to actually try and start up a conversation with you at the time. Oh, I'm sorry. Recently did a video for my modest channel extolling the virtues of all you guys, though I suspect that more people have heard of you all than I'm currently reaching with my channel, but if I can even show one person how delightful and hilarious you are, I will be happy. Thank you. And John, this is from John, continues, thank you all for the hard work for doing what you do. I'm especially pleased to see running start as I have missed Unskippable since you stopped doing it. Please find and close two hats for use as you see fit. As I said in my video, I think you'll all get more use out of them as props than I will. This is a, a hat. This is also a hat. Size adjuster. What the? So this is like a jaunty, it's like a half jaunt kind of uh, western-ish, western style. And this is sort of like a Wurzel gummage. Any fans of the Wurz out there? Thank you, John. Um, these two confuse me because they're like the same. They're the same. They both came from Amazon. And I, I feel like they're related. So let's open these next. Package two of three. Hi Graham, here are three coloring books and markers and pencils and crayons for either a creative 18 games stream or TTSF. Enjoy from Noi2222. They're coloring books and prang crayons and Sergeant Art pencils. Thank you, Noi. So then I guess this is also one of the packages from you. This is a <laughs> Disney Pixar adventure coloring book with 50 stickers. Ah, package three of three. Hi, Graham. Here are three coloring books and markers. Oh, markers and pencils. I see. Okay. Uh, pastels. Cray Pass. That Pass Cray. And then I guess there's another package of... Uh, maybe it's this one. Nope. Well, I guess there's another Amazon package around here with more coloring books and uh, pencils and stuff. Well, hey. Thanks, Noi. Time for this letter. Oh, and a magic card. And two magic cards. Three magic cards. Dear Loading Ready Run team, my name is Eli and I am 13 years old. Hi, Eli. I am new to the game of magic, but I've been watching your videos for a long time. You are the reason I play magic and I have always dreamt of meeting all of you in person and getting my and get my first playmat with your logo to play alongside you. I am now going down to Hamilton to play in the Hour of Devastation pre-release tomorrow. I live in South River, Ontario, and I was hoping that all of you could sign these cards for me. Thank you all so much from one of your biggest fans, Eli. And here's my mailing address. Well, so here's the thing. We don't typically do that because uh, we're bad at it. People have sent in things before and been like, hey, could you sign this and uh, mail it back? And we've been like, yeah, totally, and then haven't. Because we try to be good people and sometimes we're bad. And uh, so typically we don't do that. The rest of y'all, please don't send us stuff to sign and return because the, the administration involved means that we're very bad at it and we forget. I'm very warm and I'm gonna take this hat off. But for you, Eli, we will send these back to you. At having signed them, we'll sign them and send them back to you. What is this? This is from Montreal. A lot of inter-Canada shipments this time. More so than usual. Typically most of our stuff comes from the States. What the hell? What the hell? What a weird variety of stuff. Lisez-moi en première. Oh, that's south of the border flavor. Bonjour, je suis un lanana. Oh, it doesn't say that. Uh, dear Loading Ready Run, I am a fairly recent fan. I found your Friday Night series less than two years ago, but I am an avid fan. I have done my best to find as many videos as possible, watch some of your streams, and I've recently begun tearing through Sidewalk Slam despite having never enjoyed wrestling. 
and recently graduated from McGill University with a bachelor's in music performance and receiving an award for outstanding achievement in clarinet. I tell you this not only to brag, fair, but also to thank you for the role you have played in obtaining it. Wait, how did we have helped you get a clarinet? What? Your wonderful humor and good nature have helped me weather and work through some dark and miserable times over the past few years. Despite the fact that your nearly endless content has served as the perfect fuel for my procrastination, I don't think I would have made it without you. It is also partly thanks to you that I have decided to pursue a career as an artist slash creative person and explore my voice and how to express it. Effing awesome! I probably would have sworn there, but I just did a letter from a 13-year-old, and I don't want to set a bad example. Though we swear all the time, so I don't know. Fuck it. For all of that, and for all the good and positivity you provide many people with, I, th I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Therefore, I've sent this small package of gratitude, which contains this letter. Sure does. Three comic books found in the street market whose covers I found amusing, an aggressively Quebecois t-shirt, and a pack of magic cards, as is tradition. I hope to meet all of you one day and have the chance to collaborate with you with lots of love, friendship, and gratitude to all members of LRR, past, present, part-time, substitute, temporary, or other, from Noah, a.k.a. Knobster the Lobster. P.S. I was going to send you delicious candy made with superior Quebec maple syrup, but that will have to wait until next time. Pour français, veux le retourner la page. Oh! Share loving ready run. Je suis un fan assez récent. The whole thing is in French on the back again, but uh, I it's been a long time since I took French, so my pronunciation is going to be uh, très bad. Un t-shirt aggressivement québécois. Let's let's see this aggressivement québécois t-shirt. <laughs> well, so much for me not swearing. Don't fuck with Quebec. Fuck damn, like Tabernac is like a, it's a Quebecois curse. It's like, it's like damn or fuck or whatever. So this is don't fuck with Quebec Tabernac. Boy, that is, that, that, that is aggressive. A pack of core set, cor, core, core set. Eighth edition. And Moon Knight, Warheads, and the West Coast Avengers. They're the Avengers for us on the West Coast. Mr. Fantastic, Hair Guy, Pterodactyl, Void Man, and Big Friend. Thank you, Noah. Congratulations on your clarinetsmanship. This one. This one confuses me because it's from Card Kingdom. And Card Kingdom knows our actual address, so they wouldn't need to send something to our P.O. box. Meaning this came from one of you, and it is a big old case of something with some customer comments. Customer comment, could you possibly print off the following message and enclose it? Dear Doctors LRR, e.g. Graham probably. I just wanted to thank you for all your awesome content and send you a copy of the silliest tribal deck I've ever had the pleasure of playing. Mirror, lots and lots of mirror. The other two cards in the list are islands, which I figure you have lying around somewhere. If not, just ask Cam. Your content has helped me through a lot of hard times and I hope the silly thing is some measure of payment in addition to my Twitch and Patreon support from Jackson Karfsma778 in chat. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. So this is an entire... It's an entire mirror deck. <gasps> Quad mirror battle sphere. Intangible virtues, shimmer mirror, leaden mirror. Oh, man. In Garrick's wake. This seems terrific. Thank you, Karsma. We'll make sure to keep that together once we add the islands, of course. Uh, this box from eBay? We didn't order anything from eBay, but somebody named Jonathan did, and they sent it to us. Oh, shit. Right. Fuck. It's Nightmare 4. Elizabeth Bathroy, vampire. It's taking taking it in a unique direction. Like, it's kind of amazing, but... Yikes. Well, awesome. Thank you. That means we can uh, finally see out that whole, that whole set. I'm legitimately kind of excited about that. I don't think they're good games, but I think they're tremendously fun to stream. Next is this from somewhere in Ottawa. Aha! Yes, we were waiting for this. Hi, Graham and gang. Attached are four of each token, Embalm, Exert, and Eternal. Also attached are two of each unpainted. If you feel you have more than you need, or if you have more than you need, feel free to give a trio to Judge Surge. I set it on black with red for Exert in honor of James getting domed by that Nintendo sign way back. This is their words. And now for Feels Time Blah Blah. Between LRR, Jamie, and the associated throng of positive people, your streams, videos, and podcasts have helped reduce my depression and anxiety to more manageable levels. From Akayatana, in the chat, thank you so much. These look fantastic. Yeah, check these out. This is uh, for next time we play 
um, Amonkhet or Hour of Devastation. These little wooden cartouche tokens that are either ex exerted, embalmed, or eternalized. Pretty great. Thank you, Akayatana. AKA Kite. Oh, what is this? Having a good day ripping packages open. I've handed in essays at university double space that were shorter than this, says the index card. I apologize for how long this is. Sorry. Uh, don't worry. Stephanie, aka Hot Liquid Jello on Twitch. No one has to worry about, like, never apologize for sending in something, something long. We're gonna read it. Regardless of how much gets in mail time, know that we are reading these. Dear Doctor's Loading Ready Run. I appreciate, by the way, the font choice. That's, it's great. Hello, I figured it was long overdue that I send you some tokens of appreciation for all you do, so here we are remedying that situation. In close, you'll find the issues of Boom Studios, WWE, then, now, forever, uh, one and two. For Adam and Graham, and anyone else to peruse at their leisure. It's because of Sidewalk Slam that I own them, and I'm determined that you should read them as well. Of course, I'm heavily biased as I adore as I adore artist Rob Guillory for his work on Chew, and pairing him to work on the New Day arc is a stroke of genius. Also, I may I maybe wrote a bit of spoken word poetry about Sidewalk Slam a while ago, and included that included that as well. Additionally, for Hero Quest, I've sent over some card sleeves to keep these spells, treasures, and roaming monsters safe. Ah, these are different. These are not magic card sleeves. These are board game card sleeves. That's actually super useful. Thank you. LRR has meant a whole hell of a lot to me the past couple years, from just providing laughs to everything is fine, literally being my coping mechanism when I get anxious that things aren't, to meeting someone I now call one of my best friends in the DB9 chat, uh, which is Carbonyl Cookie. Plus all the stuff you've got me into: RE, wrestling, RPGs, The West Wing. Oh, and a quick tip for Graham concerning the March mail, t mail time. A cheap bottle of sake mixed with melted down mango Malona bars from the Asian grocery market is amazing, like a creamsicle cocktail. I don't know how I feel about that. From Stephanie, hot liquid jello in the Twitch chat. Then there's a long-winded PS. It says, it says long-winded, I'm not editorializing. So I will uh, read that uh, off camera. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, also there was a copies of um, Brown Ufe and Phantom Tiger. I don't know why, but they're in there as well. So thank you for those cards. All right, what is in here? Oh, here we go. All right. The, today's been successful for ripping stuff open, but that's just been me tearing the packaging, not the, like, designated pull cords, because those haven't had them. So let's try this one. Oh, that felt so good. It was like butter. What the hell? Whoever this is has some explaining to do. Hi. Hi. I've been a fan for a long time and just wanted to say thank you for all the many, many, many hours of entertainment. I don't know how well known the MTG game is. Thought you might get a kick out of the digital only cards with random effects. The book is worth looking at if only for the screenshots. Thanks for the laughs, Jeff. Succinct. I like it. So there's a hat. Very nice. The book is Internet Detectives. <laughs> what? Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at this book. This is definitely youth fiction. This is like Goosebumps level. And oh my god, it's actually a sealed inbox copy of Magic the Gathering, the number one strategy card game now on the PC. This game is known today as Chandelar, because it's to differentiate it from current Magic the Gathering online, but this is, yeah. Magic the Gathering. Oh, and it comes with the Astral set. It comes with physical cards. Twelve never-before-seen exclusive cards. This is... We really should play this on stream sometime. It's so... It's so messed up. And now we have a sealed boxing copy. That's that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. This should go on the shelf. A uh, couple small ones here. What do we have here? This feels... This feels like a DVD. We flashbacks when we used to fulfill all of our own DVDs. Nope, it's a book. The Verse by the Side of the Road. The Story of the Burma Shave Sun. <laughs> wow, there's an old meme. Containing all 600 of the roadside rhymes. Holy crap. Early to bed, early to rise was meant for those old-fashioned guys who don't use Burma Shave. Shaving brushes, such a bother. Burma shave looks good to father. Cheer up, face. The war is past. The H is out of shave at last. Burma shave. Are your whiskers when you wake tougher than a two-bit steak? Try Burma shave. The back, the, the back half of this book is just Burma shave rhymes. This is kind of amazing. Some of these are more than a little sexist. I guess it was the 30s. A guy who wants to middle eyelid. 
must never scratch his little violet. Burmashave. Wow, what a stretch. Ooh, Burmashave tooth powder. Better tooth cleanser, low expense, your druggist sells it. 40 cents. Burmashave tooth powder. She will flood your face with kisses, cause you smell so darn delicious. Burmashave lotion. This is honestly, I'm actually really, really into this. There's no note with it. That's a lie, there's a note with it. I saw this book in the local bookstore and my mind went to the endless hours of desert bus. Thought y'alls might appreciate it. I'm Cuttlefish Man in chat. Thanks for all your work and can uh, continue to do what you do from Will. Thank you. This is, I'm legit super interested in this. Thank you. <laughs> I love these kind of like, the, that. that's a very interesting book. Thank you. This one's addressed to Graham and Kathleen or to Kathleen and Graham. This is spicy barbarian stories. Our friend Matthew is a librarian and uh, he makes zines. Spicy librarian zines. Oh, there's also a pack of WWE trading cards. I'll put that aside for the next sidewalk slam. Thank you, Matthew. This package is from a name I recognize, but I won't spoil it. Complete this drawing. It's a book of strange shapes, and then you complete the drawing. Oh, it's a whole box of stuff. Eight Beach Boys trading cards. Find Beach Boys autographs. What the? Made in Michigan. Milk chocolate blueberries. These look like tiny bird eggs. It's amazing. Ian. Something for Ian. I can't tell exactly what it is. Something for James. And something for Kate. Well, it would be rude of me to... It would be rude of me to open these, so I shan't. Three in the morning to go on a tweet storm about it. Oh, I can. I can. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like you've got to do that. Here I am in my first feature in mail time, and I got something. Sounds really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I feel like this is from Lord Hosk. <laughs> Look, it's Legos. I got a Lego policeman's and a Lego police ATV. That's, what does that say? But that's not actually Lego. Construction blocks was what say my my, blo blocks. my blocks, and and real Lego. I feel like the real Lego is better. Look at they're like basically kind of doing the same thing. I feel like one is just significantly better than the other. We should do a comparison. Oh, clearly, yeah. We should do a sick build video. This is gonna be TTSW next week. <laughs> Thank you, you. You know who you are. Now on to all of these. Survey says. You can't do that in Canada. Apparently it's a book of wacky Canadian laws. No splashing in the water troughs in the streets of Edmonton was allowed after 1917. The water troughs were for the use of the public, traveling public and for watering animals only, taking water away is forbidden. People may not dress as inanimate objects, stand on the sidewalk, and wave to people to advertise something in Victoria, BC. Luggy the Rug and his buddy dressed as a cell phone were mascots in the 90s advertising rug and phone services, they broke the bylaw and faced up to $100. Man, I haven't seen Luggy the Lugger Rug Bug in years. Weird, he used to be in all the parades. I wonder what happened to him. Also, Mr. Floaty. Mr. Floaty is a big poop. He's protesting the fact that we don't treat our sewage. They're, they're putting in a sewage plant now. He ran for mayor once. Almost ran for mayor. They wouldn't let him put Mr. Floaty on, on the ballot. Dueling is a crime anywhere in Canada. You may not, quote, provoke another person to fight a duel or accept the challenge. You could face up to two years in jail. So, you know, if a Canadian says, fight me IRL, really they're trying to trick you into getting arrested. That box had no note, but thank you. I, I will read more of it. Now, as I was opening this, I read it. And that may have been a mistake. Because it's addressed to Graham Starch. G-R-A apostrophe A-M-S-T-A-R-C-H. Which is not my name. And, uh, I... What's the point of even having a customs declaration? Detailed description of contents. The GOAT. Capital T, capital G, THE GOAT. From You Goat Mail. Hey everyone, I felt like the Moonbase or Penelope would appreciate a graceful 
stinky, ridiculous companion. So here you go, name suggestion, Baphomet from Matt. Goat Prince, yougoatmail.com, which I guess is a service to send people a goat. Now we have a goat, we goat mail. Thank you. All right, this is for Robotic Trousers Inc., which is not our name, but but fair enough, it got here. And uh, the goat, uh, by the way, Kathleen has the goat. She's going bad, bad, bad. This is a selection of things. I shall read the note first because it's polite. Mail time? Dear Doctor's Lure, it's your boy Doc. Doc Samurai in Twitch chat. Long time viewer, first time caller, or something like that. Been a fan of your excellent content since the first episodes of Unskippable, and the many, many laughs you've all provided to me over the years have seen me through a lot of hard times. Foot, corp line, feed dump, checkpoint, crap shots, watch and play are what keep me going when things have looked otherwise awfully bleak. The other stuff is pretty great too, but there are literally not enough hours in the day for me to, for me to watch everything you do. How the F do you do it? I don't know how we do it. I won't go into too much here, but it's not an exaggeration in the slightest to say I would not be alive today if I hadn't had some quality laughs to look forward to. I know how emotional hearing stuff like that can be, so if y'all need a minute, I'll understand. All good? Okay. So, things are looking better for me these days, I'm back on my feet, and I recently found out there's a literal chocolate factory less than a mile from my new apartment. They're amazing, and I figured that one way to show my appreciation for all the years of comedy is to send you some local delicacies straight from Cleveland, Ohio. If the crew likes these as much as they do, I'll probably also be sending similar packages to Desert Bus this year, maybe, possibly, almost certainly. All right. A box of Founder's Favorite award-winning Bordeaux chocolates, English toffee drenched in milk chocolates and rolled in chopped almonds. That's my jam. Chocolate almond bar, chocolate crunch bar, pretzel crunch bar. A box of Billy Bobs, which are... Caramel pecans and milk chocolate. Most places call them turtles. <gasps> Love turtles. Fresh, c c crunchy pecans drenched in chewy caramel and covered in our famous milk chocolate. And a box of Ohio Buckeyes, which are an Ohio classic of chocolate and peanut butter. Imagine a chocolate dipped peanut butter flavored truffle. If these don't melt, they're gonna disappear very quickly. I guess if they do melt, then we'll also, di well, we'll try, we'll, we'll, we'll eat them quick. Thank you, Doc Samurai. This is from Straya. Sadly, we are not able to come back to PAX Australia this year, but we're making it we're making it a priority for 2018. So hopefully, we'll be able to come back down Melbourne way for the next PAX Aus. Dear Graham, or whoever is opening this, my sister and I have been watching Loading Ready Run in your various incarnations since you first started making it Unskippable back in the Escapist days. Man, a lot of Unskippable fans today. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying Running Start. LRR has been a big staple of our pop culture microcosm ever since. We're both big fans of your sketches and crap shots. I'm an avid watcher of Watch and Play, Let's Nope, Loading Ready Live, and the Temple of the Lava Bears was one of the things that helped me get interested in D&D. I cannot count the number of in-jokes and personal memes we've derived from your videos over the years. Us too. But I do know that we can still get a laugh from one another with just an approving... Outstanding or by humming the Echoes to Y theme aloud. I managed to unintentionally incorporate a lot of watch and play memes and alexisms into my everyday vocabulary, so you're even influencing our very minds. Alex is, he's like a parasite. It's insidious. He will say a thing and it will sound like a quote from something and you'd be like, what's that from? And he's like, I, I, just, I just made it up. And then it just gets, burrows in there and then you find yourself saying it and you're like, wow, Alex is, he, he's, a, he's a meme machine. I've heard it said in other mail time letters, but I think it bears repeating. After seven odd years, it feels like we have this weird sort of one-sided familiarity with the crew. LRR has been a part of our lives, and you've shown us so much of your lives that it feel, feels like we personally know Graham and Alex and Cam, despite having ever met any of you face to face. It doesn't seem like much in comparison, but we wanted to give you guys something enjoyable in return for all the enjoyment LRR has given us. So now that we've made this whole thing weird, have some sugar and a hat. Many fun and many thanks and fun regards from Ross, the little Mako in Twitch, and Lauren from Brisbane, Australia. Enclosed our one hat. We don't actually know what sort of hat you'd call it, but Lauren found it at a medieval festival. Oh, that'll be good. The sticker on the bag says Medieval Fight Club. It's like if I was a chef from the void. Two packets of natural confectionery company jelly candies. Oh. Sour squirms and dinosaurs. These are gonna go into my body. Two packets of honey jumbles, essentially crack in honey gingerbread form. Ooh. We did not have these when we were down there. Are nots honey jumbles? Are they or are they not? A pack of caramello koala and a pack of Freddo frogs. Because apparently Cadbury chocolate in North America sucks now. It does. It does. You, you guys have the better the better Cadbury. And fan fantales. Fantales? Fantales? One box of fantails. These are caramel, caramel toffees enclosed in chocolate and trivia. Oh, nice. 
Included mainly because these are what would actually be given out on a hypothetical Australian Halloween. Thank you, Ross and Lauren. Hope things are going well down there in your far, far too hot country. Oh ho! Open me. Dear Doctors Lur, look at this. Dear Doctors Lur, greetings from the north of England. We are Adam and Miki, aka Hoppole Studios and Miki Alice. Uh, Adam has been watching you guys since Checkpoint was on Penny Arcade, and he soon got Miki into all his dreams as well. We both work hard, but in the little spare time we have, we seem to be we seem to have replaced TV with LRR content. That's good taste. We've been wanting to send you a parcel for a while, and finally got around to doing it. And so we present to you an art piece of Totoro, which made us chuckle. Jeremy Kyle is our UK version of Jerry Springer, only worse. My neighbor from hell. One fart bell you know for when the need arises. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's been a breach. Hang on. Candy, candle mint cake, garish hats and a royal rumble beanie, flying saucer sweets, more sweets, including vegetarian ones. P.S. Could you please give Adam's music production YouTube a shout-out? I imagine if Paul was a music producer, it's youtube.com slash hop. Whole studios. P.S. Miki likes to draw animals, including cats. This is why there's also a random cat print for Kathleen and or Penelope. Thank you. Thank you, Adam and Miki. Uh, so there's been a breach, and uh, the box containing the fart bell is now full of packing peanuts and some sort of licorice candy. This doesn't sound like a fart at all. Are you supposed to do it when you're about to fart or when you smell one? Hang on. Beach. Yeah. Help me out with this. We just got sent this. Yeah, it's a. Oh. It's a bell. Yeah. It says fart alert with a thing on it. It says, it's, they call it a fart bell, right? What does it do? Does it fart when you ring it? Here's the sound. Okay. Is it fart, is the fart alert, is it you ring it when you smell a fart or when you're about to fart? I would do both. Like maybe we should have two different types of rings. If you're about to fart, it should be like an active ringing sound. So it's like, you know, like, watch out, I'm about to yeah. pop. Or like... Oh, like a town crier. Here, yeah, here, shame, here. shame, shame, shame. Also, you're helping. You might want to hit the away. can. Yes. Yeah, oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I guess this is for you. I, I don't know why. Also, everyone farts. Let's be fair. Everybody farts. Yeah. Especially around here. So now we. So I don't know how you're supposed to use the bell. It doesn't have instructions. Well, I'm glad we have it. All right. Well, enjoy that. Thanks. <sighs> Fart bell. Okay. That is awful. Oh, doesn't fit me. Haha, -ha, technicality. Oh, this one will probably fit me, though. Let's put it at maximum extension. Nice. Hey! And a Royal Rumble beanie. What we got here? Flying saucers, glacier mints, jelly meerkats, glacier dark, spogs. Sorry, guys, you popped your spogs. Clot. Excuse me? Clotted cream fudge. All right. Kendall Mint Cake. Manufactured by George Romney Limited in Kendall, the gateway to the English lakes. Kendall Mint Cake. I love mint, so I'm... This is... This is heavy. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you. And... Yeah, the rest of the box is just packing peanuts and spogs. Home stretch now. Amazon thingy. Because James was complaining about the headphone selection in the Moonbase. From Claire, Electric Claire in the chat. P.S. I'm really enjoying Vanilla Mine O'Clock. Oh, damn. That is a very nice pair of headphones that I'm going to go install in the streaming office right now. Thank you, Claire. Much appreciated. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, this was. Th these are from uh, SMG Studios. Because um, Ben and Paul played Death Squared on Crossing the Streams. Da, 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 da. We got two sets. That's terrific. That was, I should say, we didn't play it because they sent those. We played it because we wanted to, and then they were like, hey, can we send you some plush things? And we were like, we like plush things and they're cute. So, yeah. So, thank you. Oh, big Amazon thingy. Hello, whoever Velar opens this package, probably Graham. Haven't seen this played on stream. Enjoy from Sweden, from Jesper. Ink Slayer Henriksen. It is the Carcassonne Big Box. Carcassonne and Traders and Builders and Inns and Cathedrals and the Wheel of Fortune and Hills and Sheep and New Meeple. Why haven't we played Carcassonne yet? Well, we're set now. Thank you. Thank you, Ink Slayer. And finally, I've been building up to this just because it's big. This one, uh, 
wouldn't fit in the P.O. box. For obvious reasons. It's big and it's heavy and it's really solid and we have no idea what this is. But it says this is the top. What in the... This is the envelope, it says. Hold up, this requires additional jaunt. Int, Moonbase Delta in the Bill Watt Memorial Food Zone. Graham, sitting behind a table, hosting monthly mail time. He opens an envelope, pulls out, and unfolds a letter that he starts to read. Graham, he turns to the camera. This isn't a letter, it's a script. Superimpose, meta. Graham, turning back to read the letter. Dear Doctor's Alert, long, long, long time ago, occasional Desert Bus Crafter, patron, Twitch Prime supporter, and rare chat Discord lurker wishing you well from Washington, D.C. Given your sweet new and new to you cameras, I expect you will get more use out of the enclosed items than I will. My first career was television production, and unfortunately the opportunities to pursue it as a hobby are limited. All the talent is in Canada. The wireless mic frequencies are legal in Canada. Sorry I did not get this to you before Beej's hasty exit stage right. I will close by thanking you and everyone within the Lurverse for everything. Carry on. Sincerely, Darian on Twitter and Evalens in the dark corners of chat. P.S. If you haven't already done so, a lens hood would help with Studio A's backlight lens flare on the camera. Who? Holy wow, it's another boom! Holy shit! This is a Sennheiser boom mic. But hang on. You're joking. Good God, Darian, you're kidding. This is a serious, serious Manfrotto tripod. This is an absolute beast of a tripod. This is what I'm really curious about. Holy shit, these are, these are wireless mics. This, we, we were gonna get some of these when we moved to the new moon base. Darian, thank you, this is, this is astonishing. These are, this is, it's not just gear, this is really good gear. Well, uh... Psh, thank you. That's where the script ends. So there, you, you, you didn't write the part about... I guess it's the second page, but it's like... Graham stares at the camera, lost for words, and professes thanks to everybody who, everybody who sent stuff. Uh, and is generally flabbergasted. Oh, what? Whoa, there's nothing there! <laughs> It's so light. It is so light. And that's all, the wiring's all in place, and... Look at this tripod. Holy hell. Wait, what is that way? Okay, that's actually... Wow, that's heavy, though. Do you think the... Do you think the Kessler, the dolly, fits on that? It probably would, yeah. Ooh. Okay, Sennheiser. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I know what system we're going with. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. What the fuck? <laughs> it goes higher. Oh my what the shit? god. What did you use to do? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, wow. It's got a it's got a ball head. Oh. Oh. Oh, feel that smooth oh, ball beat. So oh, good. That ball in my hands. <laughs> this was the case for the um, the boom, which is so light. It's ridiculously light. And I was like, what's this weird thing in the bottom of the case? Oh, it's a brush. <laughs> Look at this. That's so cute. It's to keep your keep your windsock looking looking its best. And to brush out burrs. I guess, yeah. If you have to off-road. This is so light. Like, like we, we, we have a pretty new boom yeah. that we got, like, fairly recently that is the same sort of um, internal, wire. internal wiring yeah. one, but it's not this light. I'm having a hard time getting beyond that. Yeah, that's I... so big. <laughs> Reminder, I'm six foot three. We'll be able to use this for something well, in, the, in the new live studio. I mean, if it rains, we could use it outside as a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw a tarp around it. That Just want to say to everyone else who sent us stuff for mail time, we enjoy everything hugely. We're just not going to film 
every time we eat the candy and chocolate you've sent. By the way, guys, there's a whole bunch of new candy and chocolate. Ooh, good. Like Take some this. real. Oh, no. okay. Some <laughs> some real nice looking stuff. What? Billy Bob's. Those are basically turtles. They look great. Crack those open, Heather. I can't eat most of these. I can eat. So sad. I can eat caramel. How about some Arnott's honey jumbles? What the heck is a honey jumble? I don't know. They're from Australia, and we never saw these when we were down there. No. Maybe they're more of a Brisbane thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should eat one of these. Graham. Kathleen. Ooh. Oh, man. Right? That's real good good. They taste like those German Christmas cookies. Yeah. How is that? That's nice. Oh, the same thing? It's kind of the same thing. Ooh. All right. Glass with a twist engraved and printed glassware for our, our esteemed commander. Signed, Chad. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're, they're, they're coffee mugs. One more. One more? Does, is the other one another one more? One more cup of coffee. One more cup of coffee. When I finish my classes at UVic in chemistry, the University of, Chemist or University of Victoria Chemistry Society um, gave me a, a mug, which was a, a beaker with a handle and then like all the gradations on the side. You know, you, get the, you see them sometimes at trade shows, uh, but it broke, it cracked last week oh no and yeah Yay. so new mugs Aww. thank you so thank you and thank everyone for everything it's humbling to to mean as much to you as you say in these letters i said humbling at the same time i was looking at the thing of arnott's honey jumbles <laughs> i almost said it's jumbling <laughs> honey there it's arnott's humbles J Johnny Humbles. It's Johnny Humbling. Thanks, everybody. See you next month, I guess.